reclaiming my workshop. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Well, you are going to believe this because I'm going to show it to you. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. 18 years ago, a friend of mine redid his kitchen. And I got all of his old kitchen cupboards. And all of these here in the laundry room, still solid as a rock. However, in my workshop, most of the cupboards were there. And I got all of these power tools all cleaned up and moved over here. Drawers stacked there. Drawers stacked there. Most of the drawers are salvageable. The metal drawer slides are definitely salvageable. But the cupboards themselves, termites. Look at this. It's, there's nothing there. It's the paint holding it together. They're not still here. That's the good news. But they definitely have been. Uh, it could have been many, 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 many years ago. Um, they start it and then dry rot takes over. Anyway, all of this is trash. I may save a couple of the doors. Here's more of it just... Look here. It's just nothing. It's ed up. So, I've ordered wood. I'm going to rebuild my cabinets out of four by fours and two by fours. It'll be industrial looking, not kitchen cabinet looking. That's the project. The reason I thought I'd share that with you today is because I ordered some wood. When you order wood in the United States, two by fours and four by fours, you don't actually get two inches by four inches. You get one and a half inches by uh, three and a half inches for a two by four. And for a four by four, it's three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And of course they say, oh yeah, well, it was a two by four when we cut it at the mill, but uh, shrinkage and, and when it dries and whatever. Um, but they're still charging you for what they started with, not what you're getting. When you order wood in Mexico, let me show you what you get. This is a four by four, and that is a four and an eighth by four. And this is a two by four, and it is four by two and a little bit more. Also, uh, you buy them and you pay for three meters. Three meters is 118 inches. This is 121 inches. 21 and a half out there. Which means that you, they've given you room to cut off the less than right angle in order to get what you paid for. Now I have uh, five four by fours eight two by fours and um, six one by fours, which are one by four, by the way. And I also got three sheets of high density uh, stuff for the uh, countertops, which I put in there 20 years ago and they're still in good shape, although they've warped a little bit after 20 years. 18 years, actually. Anyway, thought you might be interested in uh, lumber sizes in Mexico. Oh, and what did I pay for this? Uh, it was 4,800 pesos total. 4,800 pesos, 
uh, and the exchange rate today is 18.6. That's uh, $258.06. <laughs> I like doing projects in Mexico. I'm going to go in the house and figure out what that would have cost me at Home Depot in Sierra Vista, Arizona. Be right back. I would order in Mexico, 258 US dollars. At Home Depot in Sierra Vista, Arizona would have cost 373, which is $115 more or 45% more. And here we're getting real dimensions, which is okay if you're just building stuff. If you're building stuff in the United States, you need those minor dimensions to make things all fit together right and this is green lumber so it is going to shrink you have to take that into consideration if you're building something that needs to be accurate well i was wrong about the termites being gone this is one of three walls i've discovered is impacted i cleaned the first one up painted it white and the next morning after just one night, I had two brand new six inch tunnels going up the wall. So I called in the pros. Thirty five holes drilled through the tile and the concrete to put two liters of termite poison in each of the thirty five holes. Take that, you little censored. In my workshop, working on my new benches, got this one built. We're gonna leave it out in the middle of the floor until we make sure that we don't have any more termites coming up the wall. Uh, no new termite indication this morning. And a, couple of quarts of poison down underneath the floor into the dirt. Well, I called them back to do another wall. Had to tear out the sink. But it's been a week now. We've puttied up the holes. No indication of termites and no indication anywhere else on the property of termites, but uh, I have some work to do to get my workshop back in shape. Luna and I are watching some America's Got Talent, and guess who's here with us? People ask me, why don't I get a dog? Do I look like I need a dog? It's my neighbor's dog, but anytime they're not home, he comes over here to be with us. He's a friendly guy, and he likes people. So I'm sitting here editing a video, and... What did you say? I said there's a bad fly bothering me. A bad fly? You yeah. mean as opposed to a good fly? No, there's no good flies. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad we got that worked out. Yeah. Hey, uh, we're going to the motorhome in uh, a few weeks. Uh-huh. You think that we should do the fly count this year when yeah. we're swatting flies? Yeah. yeah. You know, we took last year off. We, we didn't take off killing them and swatting them, but we took off counting them. Yeah. I uh, think we should count them again this year. The best year of counting flies was when last time we went to Oregon, coming back down through Nevada, the flies were terrible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, well, the people who have watched our videos for a while, they're going to they're gonna know what we're talking about. Well... The rest of them are just going to think we're playing crazy. One year <laughs> we have over 500... I know. I think that if I remember the number was 530-something. Yeah. I should have just made that number up. We didn't make up the number, though. My favorite line from that whole episode is that you have to 
kill them and you have to get them. You have to retrieve them. They can't like fall behind the couch. In order right. to count them, you have to retrieve them. Mm -hmm. And one of the rules is for counting how many flies you kill, you can't go outside and just start <laughs> smacking a dead cow. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. They come in. <laughs> uh, so you think we're crazy? Yeah. Okay. I do. Thanks for stopping. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.